Nigel Farage is with us. He's the man behind Brexit, former UK Independence Party leader. Nigel, it is ironic that these two world leaders are essentially on their way out. I'm wondering if you want to take any credit for either of them. Yes, I mean, I'd like to kick them a little bit further out, frankly. I mean, <laughs> what we've seen today with, with their joint statement is that the poor darlings are in denial. Uh, they simply can't face up to the fact that their worldview has taken an absolute beating in the year of 2016. It began with Brexit, the first brick out of the wall, and now we have a Trump presidency in the USA. And let me tell you, in two weeks' time, we have a rerun of the Austrian presidential election, uh, and the last contest was scrapped because of electoral fraud and the possibility of a right-wing Austrian nationalist candidate winning. And we also have a referendum on December the 4th in Italy where uh, Renzi, the Prime Minister, uh, is going for a power grab, which I think is going to be rejected. So the news for Obama and Angela is there's more of this to come. OK. Now, you met with President-elect Donald Trump. It was just a few days ago. You were at Trump Tower. I think that's the first face-to-face -face meeting with a, a foreign politician, if I can put it like that, uh, of all time. Mm. And I think at the time you said you wanted to be a bridge between Donald Trump and the Brits. Can you explain that? Yeah, I mean, look, Obama didn't like the United Kingdom very much, and he didn't think much of our uh, relationship that we've had. And, I mean, let's face it, over the last hundred years, we've shared a lot of triumphs and tragedies together, haven't we? You know, we've, we've fought wars for liberty, democracy, and freedom, um, and been, you know, at times, very, very successful. Obama downplayed that. Trump uh, is, well, of course, he's absolutely pro-American and pro-ordinary Americans, but he recognises... There needs to be a better relationship with the UK, uh, and that can start with trade and defence and many, many other things. And, and all I've said, having been accorded the privilege um, of spending time with the president-elect, uh, is that if I can help uh, the British government in any way smooth relations, not just with the president, but with the president's team, I'd be very happy to do so, because I believe it's in the interests of both of our countries. All right. Nigel Farage, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us again, Nigel. Thank we'll you. see you soon. Thank you, sir.